Hey guys, welcome to a new series on Supercars of London called Throwback Thursday Video Style. Every Thursday, the trend is huge on Twitter and Instagram to post pictures of your past, memories that you've had over the last two, three, five, ten years, however long it may be. I don't have that many photos from my past, so I want to do supercar videos. I've been filming in central London for six years and filmed some amazing supercars and have some real favourite videos. I've put myself on camera for the last nine months so you'd have seen my emotions and reactions as I've bought this Audi R8. So I want to take you back in time, talk to you about some of the emotions, what happened whilst I was filming some of my favourite Supercars of London videos. It's going to be a really fun series. Every Thursday I'm going to post a new favourite video and talk to you about what happened before, what happened after I was filming, but also what happened whilst I was filming, anything in the background. as the camera only sees one dimension of it all so i'm really looking forward to this series and i hope you guys are going to come with me on my journey taking myself back in time on throwback thursday what better place to start this throwback thursday video series than where i picked up my first supercar the audi r8 iron man which is behind me let's jump in the passenger seat start up my ipad and get the first throwback thursday video on the go which is the ferrari 599 mansory stallone in london from 2008. back to 2008 when I was 17 years old and filmed the Ferrari 599 Mansory Stallone and what I believe to be the only one in the world at that time. It was launched in March 2008, I think, if I'm incorrect, please forgive me, and I saw it in the Nuts magazine. If there's any young lads out there, you'll know exactly what Nuts magazine is. I saw it in there and saw that it was just an incredible version of the 599, but never thought that I would see one on the road. And it was my second lap around Harrods on July uh, 26th, I think, that I saw the Mansory Stallone parked up next to a black Ferrari 599 Novitec Rosso, which actually looked very stock compared to the Mansory 599. I knew that I had to film it and I stood right down at the end of the road waiting for the car to start up and drive off. When it started up it let off a huge rev right to the red line and made me literally jump out my skin and I knew from there that the guy was in the mood to have a bit of a race around central London. Now this is back in 2008 so um, the video is quite old, the um, video editing absolutely zero and the quality isn't that great but I'm going to play it. Play it and let you guys enjoy. So as you saw from the footage, the video quality wasn't very good and there was absolutely zero editing skills whatsoever. I didn't have a clue of how to edit, so I just pressed record and stopped it at the end of the video. I've told you what happened up until the point of me pressing record. Whilst I was recording, I was looking a bit at the car, I was also looking at making sure that I had the full car on camera and I was really learning about different uh, video styles and making sure that I was getting the whole car in the footage. And I think the whole video came out quite well um, if I do say but so myself and I filmed this back in 2008 um, when uh, I had no idea what I was doing really and I just uploaded it as one video file. Lucky I kept the camera rolling and I was able to catch that mid rev uh, in the middle of the video where it proper let off the V12 sound which was an incredible uh, sound to hear and it probably made me run a little bit faster as you saw in the video I was uh, really running quite fast to chase after this car even though the central London traffic is uh, pretty slow. 
I was so focused on getting the acceleration video good, but luckily the Mansory Stallone took a long time to pull out on Sloan Street, which um, you would have seen in the video. Um, and then as he accelerated down the road, he left an amazing soundtrack, which uh, is picked up on the video, of course. And then the 599 Novitech Rosso, which was right behind it, felt quite left out and just trundled down because he knew that he couldn't compete with the soundtrack of the Mansory Stallone. And that video really defined Supercars of London. When we uploaded it, I thought that um, a lot of people recognize that video as being the supercars of London video so that is probably one of my favorite videos if not the most favorite video that I've been able to film whilst filming for supercars of London the Ferrari 599 Mansory Stallone an absolute beast and every time I see it now which tends to be in Monaco I get that funny feeling and it really brings back the memory of filming it in 2008 so I hope you guys love the Ferrari 599 Mansory Stallone and also love my video from back in 2008 this series is going to look through all of my collection of videos on supercars of london pick my favorites if you have any favorites that you want me to talk about on throwback thursday please comment below and i'll do my best to get through all of them on this throwback thursday series thanks for watching i hope you guys can support me on the throwback thursday video idea and i look forward to seeing you next thursday for another throwback thursday how many times have i said that in this video make sure you subscribe i look forward to seeing you soon cheers guys take care bye bye